first sorry it was the sixth part all the fifth part that i already uploaded you can watch from that one thing before starting this i told you first you see all the five part whatever that why we already uploaded okay because in the first part that i told you that life process chapter is divided into five four categories number 1 nutrition number 2 respiration number 3 is transportation and last one is excretion so up to the transportation i had already uploaded it was the sixth part which is start starting of excretion so it so here it begin the topics that we are going to cover in this lecture the they are a very simple topic you can uh, you can just uh, in uh, class 7th you have to already know about that all the topics whatever is here okay the first topic the basically is introduction which is basically based on class 7th whatever you have to read in class 7th introduction is simple introduction is that excretion in plant we all know that in plant also remove the waste product there are so many waste product are present in the plant because they they are also a living one so they excrete the, they excrete the waste product excretion in animals it means uh, here we will discuss about some animals example that is uh, protozoa porifera okay it means the smallest animals or to up to the largest animal uh, uh, multicellular organism just like elephant also or tiger also especially in in the invertebrates to the vertebrates we will discuss in which type of excretory product or excretion they will release type of excretory product many how many types of excretory product that the animals will release okay so here the first topic that is introduction before starting i told you something one question is always in your mind about the excretion that what is the basic difference between okay what is the basic basic difference between ejection and excretion so one thing has always in your mind that ejection ejection i already told you i think it was in the lecture number 3 okay that ejection means removal of waste material from the body is called as what ejection simply removal of waste material it means whatever that food undigested food will be removed from the body that is called as what ejection but excretion is little excretion is little bit different it is also a removal of waste product but in the nitrogenous waste product this one is the nitrogenous waste product removed from the body is called as excretion if you if you will write the definition the first definition if if you will write the elimination of metabolic waste excess of salt and excess of water from the body is called as what excretion it means here here the excess amount of metabolic waste the waste which are excess in our body okay and salt there are so many there and so many because we all know that sodium potassium pump will be operated in our body and excess amount of water will be easily released from the body okay one more definition if you want to write one more definition one more definition is very simple the elimination of nitrogenous waste product nitrogenous later we will discuss about only three type of nitrogenous waste product are removed from each and every animals that is ammonia urea and uric acid later we will discuss about that okay the ha uh, in our body ya in any animal or plant body there is a excretory organ which perform the function for elimination of the nitrogenous waste product that is called as excretory organ excretory organ country in our body excretory organ basically it excretory organ is called as kidney which later we will discuss the structure and the functions okay the major excretory organs in man and other vertebrates are kidney that i already told you about this okay ha lungs liver large intestine and skin also help in excretion like suppose that lungs lungs we all know that lungs also help in the excretion that it remove carbon dioxide from our body 
liver liver basically the glycogen will be break down and the waste product of glycogen will be removed from it large intestine all the waste product are collected in large intestine are go through the large intestine and collect in the rectum part and remove with the help of anus skin skin are basically help in excretion in the sweat form we all know that during the summer season or during the heavy exercise mountain climbing or whatever is that we are doing so skin there are so many pores are present in our in our skin okay on that pore the excess amount of water with salt will be removed from the body in the form of sweat it is very important that the sweat will remove remove from the body because the waste amount of water will be easily removed first thing the pore of our skin will be open second thing body temperature will be maintained okay one thing maintaining the body temperature is called as homeostasis okay this one is nitrogenous waste product whatever the three type of nitrogenous waste product are removed by the excretory system that is the first one is ammonia ammonia urea and uric acid later we will discuss about that uh, which which animal have a uh, excrete that uh, which animal excrete the ni nitrogenous which type of nitrogenous compound that is uh, ammonia urea or uric acid which later we will discuss about that okay all these substances are removed in the aqueous solution which is formed in the urine urine whatever the waste product which in excretory waste product which are removed around the body is in the form of urine okay bird bird or any aquatic basically aquatic and birds are remove urine in the solid form which are commonly called as pits okay now next one is excretion in plant we all know that in class 9th you have already know about that there are so many excretory product are present in our in the plant body just like latex gum resin rubber uh, some oils okay these are the waste product of plant so plant also remove the waste product it can be easily removed from the body from their body so there are so many things which have which we have to learn here excretion in plant first thing that i told you that um, plant remove oxygen also so oxygen will be remove oxygen and carbon dioxide during the respiration in, in night time oxygen will remove from the stomata the pore which are present on the surface of leaf that is stomata that uh, oxygen will be easily removed from that so that is the also waste product okay uh, in the stem there are so many pores are present that is called a lenticel lenticels are also help for exchanging of gases from the atmosphere and also help the removing of waste product okay so oxygen that i already told you oxygen waste product released during photosynthesis remove through stomata and we all know that a plant during at night time plant remove carb plant do respiration so it remove carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is also removed with the stomata excess salt are removed through hydrothodes along with the gutation of water now one word will come in one new word will come in that is hydrothodes you can see you will see that in the winter season each and every tip of the leaf some water droplets some water drops will become like this you see that suppose that this one is a leaf and at the tip of the leaf at the margin of the leaf you see that there are so many water droplet it means at the tip it means at the margin some pores are present that pore that pore from where the water will be released that pore is called as hydrothodes okay that pore is basically called as hydrothode and this process of removal of water is called as gutation of water so this one is the hydrothodes or the gut process is called as gutation of water now next one most of the waste product are stored in the dead permanent tissue we all already know know in class 9 that there is a dead permanent tissue which are present on the um, in the form of in in the surface of stem of plant that is which are commonly called as bark cork or phloem 
that dead permanent tissue okay is made up of all the waste material which are released which are excreted by the plant okay now many waste product are stored in the vacuoles there are so many vacuoles are present in that next one some of the waste product get in stored in the in on the fruit we have see that there are so many fruits there are so many fruit on that fruit fruit there is a uh, layer or cover or some spotted white color is spotted are present on on it okay some white color is spotted a white color cover are present on it that that is called as rapids which is a waste product of plant which is made up of calcium oxalate okay suppose that this one is a fruit okay so you see that in fruit okay there are so many white patches or white white uh, layer is pres are present okay that white layer is called as what rapids okay next one next one is aquatic animal so we all know that in in uh, in the plant there are so many aquatic plant are present which release their excretory product directly into the water by the simple diffusion process diffusion means what diffusion is very simple process movement of any substance from higher concentration to lower concentration is called as what diffusion it is a simple process so diff by the diffusion process aquatic plant remove their waste product directly to the water okay there are so many uh, just like uh, hydrilla which are commonly called as water lily okay in the water lily or hydrilla there is a air and chyma are present so they can, it can be easily float on the surface of water okay so it diff by the diffusion process it remove the waste product directly into the directly into the water okay next one some excretory waste product is latex gum that i already told you some excretory product is latex gum rubber okay essential oil are stored in the old xylem it means the cover up stem that is old xylem okay it can be removed from them plant also excretes some waste product in the soil in the soil around them because you see that there are so many plants you see that around that around that uh, around that stem okay or around that uh, plant there are so many white patches are present on the ground so that is the waste product of plant which plant can be easily removed to it the waste product is categorized as there are so many waste product which are easily can be categorized we can see that solid waste product basically we discuss about the plant not the animals a solid waste product if we were, we are going to discuss about the solid so in solid we see that rapids and rubber rapids that is already told you on the surface of fruit there is a white layer which are made up of calcium oxalate that is called as rapids and rubber rubber that you already know rubber that is also a waste product in liquid liquid you also know that this oil there are so many oil is that there is sandalwood oil eucalyptus oil clover oil and lavender oils these are the waste product of plant which will which can be removed easily okay next is gaseous gaseous we all know that carbon dioxide and oxygen is a waste product already told you that in during the process of photosynthesis okay plant remove oxygen as a waste product and during the respiration at night okay it remove carbon dioxide as a waste product this one is the diagram you see the diagram this is the rubber one diagram how to excrete the waste product that is rubber you can easily okay this one is latex latex is basically you know in your mind but basically you think about that mango tree when we cut the stem some gum or uh, latex will be co come outside that is basically called as latex or gum okay now next one excretion in animal excretion in animal first thing that i told you in simply a lower organism um, lower organism just like a unicellular organism amoeba paramecium euglena yeast they are the unicellular organism okay excretion will be take place by the simple diffusion process by the simple diffusion process it mean it mean uh, movement of uh, waste of sun from higher concentration to lower concentration that is a basic movement okay first thing second thing is that they are made up of single cell so that cell is directly connect to the environment that cell is directly connect to the environment so they can easily exchanging the 
वेस्ट मटेरियल और गैसेस वन क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन इज दैट ऑलरेड दैट आई टोल यू वाई मल्टी सेलर ऑर्गेनिज्म विल नॉट डू दैट टाइप ऑफ डिफ्यूजन प्रोसेस इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सक्रीशन बिकॉज इन मल्टी सेलर ऑर्गेनिज्म देर आर वेरियस ऑर्गन और इन्वॉल्व इन द एक्सक्रीशन प्रोसेस सो ऑल द ऑल द ऑर्गन आर नॉट डायरेक्टली कनेक्ट विद द इन्वायरमेंट सो द एक्सक्रीशन विल नॉट टेक प्लेस ओके नाउ यू एस वी द एक्सक्रीशन प्रोसेस प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन मेंटेनिंग हाउ टू मेंटेन इट एक्सक्रीशन विल ऑल्सो मेंटेन ये अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर फिजियोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी फिजियोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी आवर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूरिन ओके बॉडी टेम्परेचर वॉट एवर इज दैट मेंटेनिंग इंटरनल इन्वायरमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज होमियोस्टेटिक्स इट मेंटेन आवर बॉडी टेम्परेचर अराउंड द इन्वायरमेंट ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट वन ऑस्मोटिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ब्लड लिम्फ एंड टिश्यू फ्लूड देर इज सो मे ब्लड लिम्फ इट इट ब्लड लिम्फ एंड टिश्यू फ्लूड विल मेंटेन कॉन्स्टेंट वेट विल बी मेंटेन नेक्स्ट इज मेंटेन एसिड बेस बैलेंस इन आवर बॉडी बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दैट इफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूरिन इज दैट देर इज एन एसिड ओके सो इट मेंटेन द एसिड बेस बैलेंस इन आवर बॉडी ब्लड वॉल्यूम एंड कंपोजिशन कंपोजिशन कॉन्स्टेंट नेक्स्ट इज सेवरल अदर साइकोलॉजिकल फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ विच मे लीड टू द डेथ ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल ओके सेवरल अदर फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस ओके इट ऑल्सो मेंटेन द सेवरल अदर सो इट इट विल बी नॉट मेंटेन दैन इट कॉज इज द डे डेथ ऑफ दैन इंडिविजुअल ओके नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट ओके दे आर सो मे नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट सो मेनी ऑफ नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट आर प्रेजेंट बट बेसिकली they are in the three form that i already told you that it, it was in the three form only the three form is what first thing is that it was in the ammonia suppose that ammonia first thing listen it very carefully ammonia ammonia those animal which release or excrete okay ammonia as a waste product are called ammonotelic once again i will repeat those organism which excrete ammonia as a waste product is called ammonotelic and this process ammonotelic animal this process is called as ammonotelism okay one more thing here some small animals will become is basically unicellular suppose that is invertebrates basically invertebrates will be include protozoan in protozoa we all know that about in that amoeba paramecium euglena will come crustaceans platyhelminthes in platyhelminthes we all know that there are so many in that is tenia solium okay fasciola hepatica will become that you already discussed in nidarians nidarians mean hydra will come okay hydra jellyfish will come poriferans poriferans in their body there are so many pores are per, present echinoderms echinoderm basically in that starfish echino it means some okay other aquatic animals will also come which release uh, am ammonia as a waste product okay second one you see second one that is urea first thing those are organism which release what or is create urea as a waste product are called uric uriotelic or called uriotelic okay and the process is called as uriotelism this process is called as what uriotelism yet it means the organism which excrete urea as a waste product is or called uriotelic uriotelic and this process is called as uriotelism okay so example first you see the example we are the example okay it means amphibians and mammals there are so many amphibians we already know about the amphibians amphibians basically those are uh, those are present on the both land and surface okay land and sea water is called uh, land and water are called as amphibians and mammals it means us okay so they excrete urea as a waste product so they are commonly this process is called as uriotelism okay uric acid yani those organism which release or excrete uric acid in the form of excrete product that is called as uric uri, um, uricotelism okay okay this process is called as uricotelism very simple is that once again i will repeat that the animals with excrete uric acid as a waste product that is called as uricotelism okay or uricotelic animal okay example there are so many example but basically in your mind is birds birds are 
only and only excrete the uric acid you see that insect bird and most reptiles okay that's why their they, uh, their uh, urine is in the solid form they are commonly called as pits okay because uric acid with release in in the body from the body okay in the solid form not in the liquid form where water constant in very low okay now some notes notes is very important where notes first you see that first listen it very carefully that when the level of uric acid will be increases then it uh, collected in our joints that is basically uh, that disease is called as gout g o u t okay first thing second thing is that if there is a level of uh, increase in the urea or uric acid in our body then it help in the formation of kidney stone that is the very dead okay next one uric acid is almost insoluble in water that i already told you because okay and may get crystallized and deposited in the joint which cause a pain that is called as what gout which commonly called as gout which i already told you okay the level of uric acid will be increases and one more thing if some person has suffer with the this problem that is uric acid problem okay there are so much pain in their legs and joints okay second thing deposition of uric acid calcium oxalate calcium oxalate that i already told you that is refits okay calcium phosphate or calcium carbonate in kidney cause the formation of kidney stone it help in the formation of kidney stone okay in unicellular organism excretion process take place by simple diffusion it will be take place by simple diffusion can you next one is contractile vacuole yeah there are so many contractile vacuole that i already told you in like part number third in amoeba with the help of amoeba diagram i told you that there are so many vacuoles are present in that inside that vacuole in that vacuole okay one is contractile vacuole contractile vacuole help in help to removal of excess amount of water from the body okay it that's why they are helping excretion so this is this one this one is all about today okay this one is all about today thank you